American geologist Lee Stearns flies low over the vast Greenland ice sheet with Greenpeace helicopter pilot Hugh Balfour. From the air, they witness the dramatic retreat of the Kangalusuak Glacier. So this point is where we, we have it on the inventory. That's, that's where you have it on the inventory. Right. It's amazing being it right here. Between these and now two. it's back to that next one. Now it's back there, which is nearly two nautical miles. Wow, that's a lot of retreat. In the glare of the Arctic summer sun, glaciologist Dr. Gordon Hamilton and research student Lee Stearns from the Climate Change Institute at the University of Maine placed GPS sensors on the glacier. They aim to discover just how far and how fast the glacier is moving. Yeah, it's uh, almost three times faster than to read down. The results from Kanga Lasuak are shocking. In less than 10 years, the glacier has accelerated to three times its normal speed. It's moving at 14 kilometers a year, 38 meters per day. That makes it one of the fastest moving glaciers in the world. Kanga Lasuak is not alone. This time-lapse video clearly shows the movement of the Helheim Glacier over just eight hours. During this time, the ice moves almost 10 meters. Scientists believe the answer may lie in the blue lakes of meltwater that appear on the surface of the ice. As the climate warms, you get more meltwater production on the surface, and that this meltwater can reach the bed of the glacier and actually lubricates the flow of the glacier over the, over the, over the bedrock and it can actually move faster, so there, it actually speeds the glacier up. If a lot of glaciers start, um, out the glaciers start to speed up and transport more mass through them, then the ice sheet's going to uh, lose mass in the interior and that's going to translate into a, a rise in sea levels. Gordon and Lee are based on the Greenpeace survey ship Arctic Sunrise. Greenpeace decided to mount a major expedition to East Greenland to study how the glaciers there have been affected by global warming. Campaigners say the rise in sea levels caused by melting ice in the Arctic could affect the lives of millions of people living in coastal areas. Now since 70% of our population, of the global population, is living in coastal areas, they will already be quite severely affected by even a half a meter or a meter of sea level rise, and that shows why we so urgently need to do something about this. The Arctic sunrise provides dramatic proof of how fast the ice is melting. Four years ago, the Kangala Suak glacier ended at the same spot where the ship is now sailing. If current trends in climate change are not reversed, the picture might look dramatically different again another four years down the line.